Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. Guess what the mailman brought me yesterday? It looks like a Your Creative Studio subscription box. I have slit the side, so let's have a look inside. Oh, yes it is. Your Creative Studio. Oh, I've seen some of the unboxings already on YouTube. And this month, from the card, you can tell what is inside Fairies. Fairy collection. How perfect. Oh, this is going to be so nice. In anticipation of receiving this, I've created a one signature journal just with various papers that I have layered and I'm going to create it. Create a journal later today. It took me one day to do it last time so we'll see what I do. Oh, look at this. This beautiful paper and of course I'm going to save this because I absolutely love to use packaging. This is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous tissue. This will be beautiful collage in my journal. And let's move this to the side so we can see what we have here. Stamps, I know she has several stamps. And to create a pocket, I am going to, let's see, let's open this. Because I save all my packaging, I, Okay, do I want to open it this way? Yes, I do. Okay. There we are. Cling stamp. Oh, look at that. Beautiful wood mount stamp. Beautiful fairy image, and it's a rubber stamp. Gorgeous. Little stamp here. And this is these, th she usually sends three stamps. So let's have a look at cling stamp. So this one, I'm going to give my cling stamps to Lisa. And I'm going to keep the wooden block one for Lisa. Oh, look at this one. So I'm going to have to share. Look at this. A girl. So we have a girl and a boy flower fairy. Oh, gorgeous. Girl and a boy flower fairy. And what's in here? Masking tape. Let's have a look at this. Okay, I want to use this little bag. I love using packaging. Whoops, I, that's if you can get it opened. Oh boy, okay. Well, if that doesn't work, you're just gonna have to do a very fine cut. Masking tape. Beautiful fairy masking tape. Oh, there's the end. I'll try only to use half. <laughs> Lisa. Oh, it is sticky. Oh my gosh, it is sticky. Beautiful absolutely gorgeous fairy with the vintage background so let's place that here and what's in this little one cling stamps your creative studio so let's let's just cut this oh look at this oh this is a beautiful stamp look at the fairy stamp with flowers, there's two girls. Aw, two little girls. That's so cute. Beautiful stamps. Fairies, I create Edith Holden journals and fairy. I haven't been using flower fairies lately, but that may have to change. Look at this, daily things. And there are, these are vellum sheets and 
they have different printables in them. It looks like they're ledgers, different ledger sheets. Very pretty. These are going to be nice in little paper snippets is what I'm going to try to make in this next journal. Some are printed a little darker than others. And the lighting is really bad today. We, I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and we, this is our, we, it's been snowing for about 24 hours now, and we have a snowfall weather warning in effect. People here drive like it's summer <laughs> and then slam on the brakes and wonder why there's so many accidents here. Well, that's why. You have to drive carefully. So these are beautiful. These are going to be gorgeous. They're, they look like they're all different and they're beautiful uh, vellum pages. Absolutely gorgeous. So we have that. Next thing we have, oh, I love the packaging. Look at the paper on this. Variety of craft sets. Look at that, gorgeous. So inside, This piece of plastic here. I'm going to be taking a photo of this. That's why I'm arranging these things here. And we have a vintage box. And what's inside? Amanda has various um, subscription boxes. This is their. This is her vintage, vintage monthly subscription box. I'm going to be using this in the journal. I always save the packaging. I think it's awesome. And so many very, very cool things in here. So I'm just going to quickly show you each one. These are stickers. Look at that mushroom sticker. That's so awesome. So I'm going to move that up and maybe I can layer these. These are stickers. Stickers are awesome. Oh, and the images are so beautiful. I'm going to try my hand at paper snippets. Look at these mushrooms, just gorgeous. Paper snippets, I always make fabric snippets. So in this little journal, when I get, I can, I craft most of the day. I'm a stay at home crafter and that's what I do. And I have lots of different health and back issues. So what I do is I create for as long as I can and then I s s take a little tray, go to bed and sit in bed, watch Netflix and create, cr cut out little things, create extra journal bits, what I can from the bed. And we are going to do paper, paper snippets later today to fill out the journal. Look at this. Gorgeous. I'm going to leave, I'm going to add them to my journal because they won't take long. And I'm going to give Lisa the half, half, and I'm going to put half in. See, look at these vellum pieces. S vellum, some of them are dark. This is quite a dark vellum piece. And you have other vellum pieces that are very light. So you can actually see them. So this is quite dark. See, this is a lighter vellum piece. Very, very nice. They're going to still make beautiful pieces. And we have some scrapbook papers or just papers, collage papers. Collage papers. I like to see what's in there. So that's why I'm showing you these papers. They're thin collage papers. So maybe it'll be a collage book that I'll be making. So I'll put half for me and half for Lisa. Look at that. Oh, very nice. And what's this? Vellum map map. Oh, I think it's upside down. Vellum map pieces. Gosh, I love these vellum pieces. These vellum stickers are really, really cool. And I love these little mushroom pieces. So we have lots of different vellum newspaper, flower, 
and fairy. This would be a good book to put a fussy cut flower fairies and put in in here. These in this, I'm going to call it a glue book this time that I'm going to make. So I'm going to glue little bits. So I'm going to put my take out the flower fairy book and oh look at that! Cut out some images from the flower fairy book to add to this. Look at that! Just gorgeous. Must be a Dictionary, tag, pit, and flowers. That's so pretty. That is so gorgeous. So all of these little bits come in the box. So Amanda, she coordinates a theme for a month and combines stickers and stamps and papers and other ephemera bits. Boy, that's nice. Very, very nice. Look at this. It's so cool. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's look. Let's put this on top of here. And, oh, these are gorgeous. Your Creative Studio Fairy Tickets. Look at how nice that is. Fair bit of tickets in there. And these are the same. They're all the same inside. And there's a fair, fair bit of them. And how many do I have here? So we have a ticket. I like that you can make tabs out of them. Tabs this way or just use them as text or to straddle a page. So just gorgeous, these little ticket pieces. These are large tickets, I love these. And, oh, love these large pieces. This, These are tickets, but it's a long ticket. Whoops, Sports. let's take this out. Look at how fun this is. love this. They almost look like cigar band strips. I like to put, I like to straddle my papers over my page, but this will add a nice top and a nice bottom or a nice side or a nice edge to a page. And they're all the same, which is nice. It's nice to have varied, but it's nice to have the same too. This is neutral, so you can use it in any journal. Oh, I don't want to cover up her little face. Maybe like what else do we have in here? We have a notepad, your creative studio notepad. Look at this. I'm going to start to save these for window envelopes to make. Look at this notepad, your creative studio. Very nice. So let's see what kind of pages we have here. Very nice pages for a book or collaging. And I know there's a couple of different designs. Look at this. One, two. Beautiful. And three. Three different designs. Love the colors. Love these vintage shades of sepia. Absolutely gorgeous. And... Oops, try, try to arrange this for a nice photo op. <laughs> okay, and what do I have here? I have Flora Studio stickers. Flora Studio stickers. So we have, I'm going to move this to the side. Hopefully it won't fall over on me. And I'm going to take this here. Wow, so these are nice full sticker sheets. Wow, so they're full sheets or you can tear them. Very nice. Oh, look at these, whoops. Different stamps, tickets. Oh, I love the stamps. These are going to be nice in the collage book that I make. I'm going to call it a, what do you call those, glue books? 
I haven't made a glue book, so we're going to make one. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And we have this, your creative studio sticker sheet. Look at that. That's the same image that is in the, or a similar image that is in the notepads that we've had on the front. So they all coordinate. It's so beautiful. Look at this. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And we have, oopsie, I'm going to have to arrange this a little bit differently. I love this sheet. This sheet is stunning. Okay, and now we have papers. Maybe six by six papers. They look like wallpapers to me. They're so beautiful. And they're all that vintage shade. Oh my, look at the shades of blues. Pinks, blues, sepia, brown, gorgeous, and green, sage green. So there we have it. We have the beautiful, oh, what month was this? I think it's October. Oh, oh does it say? Hmm, I think it's October. I will have to check. I, I believe it's October. Doesn't say, but we'll have to check. So thank you everyone for watching this beautiful unboxing from Amanda at Your Creative Studio and the supplies you get. This will make a beautiful journal. I'm going to create a glue book, just stamp, just place different things on here. And I'll come back and show you what I created later on. I'll do that later. And if you are interested in having a subscription box, you can just check out your creative studios link. And I'll put that in the description box. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye for now.